hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome into today's video if you're new on my channel you're welcome to this form of love and care we love and care about you if you're seeing me for the first time hi i am joy a nigerian youtuber based in port harcourt nigeria so if you're coming across my channel for the first time please do well by subscribing Hit if you're coming across my channel for the first time you're highly welcome to this family of love and care we love and care for you and please 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 you do well by hit the subscription box and click on the notification bell that's where you get notified whenever i upload a new video okay so help me to grow like i just help you so, thanks so very much for returning subscriber and thank you so very much for returning viewers as you said of you guys from the bottom of my heart and thank you so 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 much for you guys coming to watch this video with us subscribing please i beg of you hit on the subscription box and click on the bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a new video okay so on this channel i think about natural beauty tips lifestyle vlog product review and pro mixing if these are all what you're interested in kindly subscribe and hit on the bell okay we also sell molato soup my molato soup will give you three to four shades lighter without you using a body lotion okay we also sell whitening black soap we sell black soap for children okay so feel free to order from us do not forget to subscribe okay so feel free to order your molato soup from us okay so in today's video i am going to teach you how to do a, a black soap like a black soap for a beautiful skin of our babies like we are going to do a black soap baby's black soap that will fair your baby skin like i'm going to teach you how to um prepare a black soap for baby fairness okay that was fair before and unfortunately you've been using soap or lotion on him that makes him or her to get that you're going to prepare this soap and trust me you're going to have that your baby skin that your daughter your children's skin back again so if you have this picture here on the screen that is my daughter Skin. that is the skin she was having right from bed like she getting dark because i've been using good soaps on her skin okay so i am going to show you what i've been using lately on my baby skin to have that beautiful look you're seeing there okay so stay tuned and watch this video to the end okay so this soap we actually we actually exfoliate the skin as well and and it will give you um it will give your baby skin a lighter complexion okay it will give it your baby skin a lighter complexion so we are going to use all natural things without side effects no chemicals no fragrance no. so we are going to have this beautiful soap um black soap you're going to apply it you're going to use it on your baby skin to see how glowy and beautiful your baby skin will look again okay so watch this video to the end this soap will make we, we work on skin reaction if your baby is suffering from rashes it's to work on skin rashes eczema um any skin problem if your baby was having um any skin problem this soap i'm going to share with you will actually work on it it will smoothen your baby skin it will give your baby skin that wonderful glow it will give your baby skin that when we have a very light um complexion okay so we are going to drag that complexion that your baby has lost we're going to drag it back again by using this uh black soap okay so stay tuned watch this video to the end and watch how i prepare my baby's soap okay so let me get you right into the workstation okay so guys welcome to our workstation so guys welcome to our workstation so this is black soap this is our migrated um black soap you can see this is my grated ghana soup yes this is my grated ghana soup i'm going to show you what i'll be adding into this so this is the soup hope you're seeing it i just grated it now so i'm going to use this bread oil of course this is a cooking oil it's finished already so i'm going to use this red cooking oil into our mixture so this is it i'm going to use this in the mixture so this is our red cooking oil okay so we are we are keeping that aside and i'm going to use a sulfur so this is sulfur for um a reaction anything like um, um skin problems like um rashes eczema so i'm going to add a little bit of my sulfur of course sulfur darkens skin so i don't really love using most i don't really love using much okay so this will actually give your baby that wonderful color okay it will brighten your baby skin it will lighten your baby skin and it will actually exfoliate it as well so while your your baby is taking his or her bath with this soap you're actually exfoliating your baby skin as well so i'm going to use this okay so this is my name powder so i'm going to add my name powder 
into this mixture okay so guys this is what i've been using on my baby skin lately and i can tell you that this is very very good on baby skin okay so i'm going to add my um cam wood powder so this is my cam wood you guys should browse about it i cannot really explain much about this because um i cannot really talk much on this because my battery is actually running down and i want to film another video so this is my cam wood powder so these are all what i'm going to use in this mixture okay so this is my turmeric um powder i really love turmeric on my baby skin so this is my turmeric powder so this is my goat milk powder so goat milk is really good like this will lighten your baby skin so this is my goat milk powder guys browse about all these ingredients all these powders and all these on children or on baby skin and see what they'll tell you okay they are very safe very very safe on your baby skin okay so this is my um my goat milk powder i'm going to add in my goat milk powder okay so um instead of me to use um uh chia butter i don't really know i've really i've used chia butter before and i i i observed that it darkens my baby skin so instead of me using a chia butter i'm going to use this mango butter in the mixture mango butter really really helps in lighten my baby skin you no know? give my baby skin a wonderful complexion okay so this is my mango butter please i don't advise you use chia butter chia butter darkens my baby skin which is really really bad okay so this is mango butter and i also have my um avocado butter here with me so i'm going to use these two butter in this mixture okay so this is my avocado butter and this is my mango butter so i'm going to combine these two butters in this great recipe okay so this are uh, um these butters are really good on the baby or the children's skin okay so this is how it looks this is my this is how it looks okay since i'm not making much so these are all what i'm going to use in this recipe so here with me i have my um rose hip oil here so i'm going to add my rose hip oil in this recipe so i'm going to show you how to use them okay so let's just get started so we are going to start by adding our powders first okay so i'm going to use one teaspoon of each of these powders okay i'm going to use one one teaspoon of each of these powders so for my calm powder i'm going to use one teaspoon okay so for my neem powder, so for my neem powder, I'm going to use one teaspoon. Okay. And for my turmeric, I'm going to use one teaspoon, like a full teaspoon. Okay. Very full. So this is how it is. So I'm going to pour it here. For my goat milk. So for my goat milk powder, I'm still going to use one teaspoon of my goat milk powder. Man, this goat milk powder is really good on, on baby skin, okay? So this is my goat milk powder. So this is my goat milk powder. I've added one teaspoon of my goat milk powder. And for my turmeric, I and, and for my um Sulfur, I told you guys, I don't, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to take much of the sulfur. I'm just going to take a pinch. So I told you guys, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to take much of the sulfur. I'm going to take a pinch of the sulfur. So this is my pinch. So I'm going to take just a pinch of it like this, okay? This is one eighth spoon. So I think we've added all our powders, okay? So I'm going to use my red oil in it, okay? So I'm going to pour my red oil. So that's my red oil, okay? Okay, you save. That's me. So I just added my red oil, which is my um red oil, our cooking oil, red cooking oil in this recipe, okay? So that's my palm oil. And I forgot to mention my honey. I'm sorry, guys. So make sure you have honey, okay? So this is honey. So this is my honey, and this is my vitamin E oil. It is extremely important, okay? So I'm going to add in my honey. After adding in my red oil, so after adding in my red oil, I'm going to add in my, again, make sure you have honey, okay? I'm going to add in my honey. So that's my honey. Honey is really good on baby skin. Make sure you add honey, okay? So um, let's mix it first. So I'm going to just mix it together now. So I'm going to add my oils, okay? So for my 
for my rose hip oil i'm going to use one cover i don't know if i have much so that's my rose hip oil okay so for my vitamin e oil i'm going to use just about seven drops of my vitamin e oil okay So I just added seven drops of my vitamin E oil. And for my um, butter, I'm just going to um, use my hand to scoop out my butter since it's not much. Hope you're seeing it. That's avocado butter. I'm managing this butter. I don't want it to finish you. So for this butter, I'm going to scoop it too. Just um, a little, we go a long way. A long way. So that's the butter. So we are going to properly mix them together. Okay. What I'll need to do now, I'm going to sprinkle it with um, rose water so it will be soaked. Okay. So I'm going to um, sprinkle my rose water so here is my rose water i'm going to sprinkle it so it will be soft okay so i just added my um my i just sprinkled my uh rose water so at this stage you're going to add your preservative because you just added water to it okay to preserve it you're going to add your preservative which i'm going to add a preservative after this so let me just try to mix them together okay as you can see, it's soft already, just now. Oh my god. I'm going to try to mix it together. Guys, this soap is a butos. When it's Guys, just this way, your baby soap is ready. And ready to use, okay? So, I'm just... Look at how... You know, it's just too soft that you can actually... You know mix it or you just melt it with your bare hands okay so because i don't i don't want to um go through the stress of pounding that's why i'm using this method you can actually use a double boil method as well and you can actually pound it but since i don't want to go through that stress of pounding you no know, I'm um, carrying mortar and pestle i started to go through this method okay so there are other methods you can use you know so just like this you see how beautiful it is i love 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 this soap on my baby skin this is the final look please make sure you add your preservative if you really um added rose water but if you have honey you can actually use honey to soak it okay if you have your honey you can use your honey to soak it but if you can use if you are using honey there is no need for preservative because it will um it will not go bad but if you use water you're going to use your preservative in it okay so this is the final look you can see how beautiful it is you know how beautiful it is so this is the final look it's beautiful and beautiful so you're going to use this please store it in a very good place you know in a very good container and use it on your baby skin to achieve that lighter complexion it will exfoliate your baby skin it will get rid of eczema it will get rid of rashes it will get it will work really it works really well on baby skin okay so i think we have come to um to the end of this video because um my battery is low okay so this is the final stage Look at how beautiful it looks. So you're going to try out this soap. Prepare this soap. Use it on your baby skin and see your baby skin. Your baby skin will have that glowy looking lighter skin again, okay? So I think we have come to the end of this video. And see you guys in my next video. Make sure you prepare this, prepare this and leave a comment on how it works on your baby skin, okay? So this is the final stage. And see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.